everybody, welcome to the homestead. So what we're doing today is changing out the teeth of the saw. We're putting in some brand new teeth. Uh, it's been proven at first to be kind of difficult. Uh, the tool I was given is not the tool that's made for this particular uh, saw blade. Um, it's made for a style B or what's called sometimes a two or a two and a half or a style F. Uh, this is a style three and it takes a different tool, but uh, I'm still able to use the tool. I'm just using like an Allen wrench as the pivot pin. Uh, the pin that, that this comes with does not fit uh, into the teeth uh, that are, and, and the shanks that are going into the saw. And so I was searching on YouTube and uh, Google and a lot of places on trying to figure out how to do this because um, I just I don't have any experience and I'm kind of learning as I go and I have a few helpers who have kind of you know, pointed me in the right direction on how to operate this sawmill. Uh, but there was just no uh, videos on how to change out these teeth. Anyway, it's really hot out here and uh, trying to work and get these teeth replaced and um, so I th when I was searching and not being able to find any videos that of anyone changing out these teeth I said well I'll just I'll make a video of changing out these teeth once I figure out how to do it so a neighbor friend of mine who's uh, been working on sawmills off and on throughout his life he uh, kind of pointed me in the right direction and so now we're changing out these teeth and so uh, it's just there's 30 how many 34 34, 34 teeth inside this 44 inch blade. And so we're just changing that one by one. And uh, once we get the teeth, the new teeth in, we can get this sawmill under operation. So the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and use the, the tool and put the pin in that we're using. It's just basically an Allen wrench tool uh, to use as the pin. And we're gonna yank this out. Uh, what we did on all these teeth first is go, go ahead and use a Brillo pad uh, with some diesel on it and uh, soak it up so it kind of penetrates through and it, it really makes a difference at put it, pulling these out a lot easier. It makes it a lot easier pulling these out. So uh, now they're, they've all been soaked and they're, they're, they're coming out pretty easy. So what we're going to do is just put the tool on, put the pin in and go ahead and pull it out. Then I'll take the next tooth, then I'll take the new tooth, and then go ahead and soak this in diesel to kind of lube it up a little bit. I'll go ahead and replace my tool. Insert my pin, which is just the Allen wrench. Place in the new tooth, and then I'll just set it. There, now it's set. I'll go ahead and pull the pin and then drop down to this other hole here, put the pin back in this bottom hole, and then push it into place. Just like that. And you go until this is flush. Pull your pin and you're ready to do your next tooth. Well, we got the teeth in and that's a big relief. So when we first got this mill, uh, it was missing a shank, which is one of the holders that holds the teeth. And uh, it was missing obviously a tooth as well. And so what I discovered is that most of the type, this is a style three blade and it takes a style three shank in a style three bit. And the style three bits and the shanks are pretty much on the verge of being discontinued. I understand that this mill was made back somewhere in the 1940s and uh, so it's pretty old and uh, it's, it's kind of hard to get some of the tools. There are a number of places where you can still find these tools uh, and there are a number of mills obviously in operation still um, but they're just not making the parts for this type of uh, mill anymore and so it's just a little bit hard to find. But I was able to locate the bits and the shanks and so I ordered a couple extra shanks and the, the place where we were missing a shank I went ahead and insert, inserted one of those and got all of the teeth ready to go and all replaced and so we're I mean we're just ready to go here um, probably this week we're gonna start milling some logs we have some oak logs we're gonna build a deck uh, for the mills so a, a loading dock so that we can uh, roll the logs on real easy um, so we're gonna build that first and then we're gonna have plans to build a kiln for this as well 
but I had never seen, I was really looking for a place online where you could find instructions on how to pull these teeth and replace them. And I didn't see anything out there, so I figured I'd do a video on it. And I figured maybe you would enjoy seeing how we do that. Just in case, you know, if you ever come across a mill or maybe, you know, you find this video on YouTube or Google or Google when you're searching, uh, you'll be able to get an idea of how you can do it. Again, the pin that we had was not able to fit through the shanks that we have here. So I had to use an Allen wrench and Allen wrenches, Allen wrenches are usually pretty stout. So it did, it did fine. Um, but there you go. Brand new teeth in the mill. That's how you replace the teeth on an old 1940s Foley bell saw sawmill. All right, we'll see you next time on an American homestead. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please click the thumbs up button below the video. It really means a lot to us. And be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Now you can support an American homestead by becoming a patron. Visit patreon.com slash an American homestead to see all the benefits of becoming a patron of our channel. You'll get access to private videos, pictures, and even live question and answer sessions that you can participate in. Some patrons will even receive free gifts throughout the year from the homestead. Visit patreon.com slash an American homestead to check it out and see the rewards of supporting our channel.